I'm Nathan James for EPWN. I'm here at the Brooklyn Pride Festival with Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Gail Good. Gail Good is challenging current Senator Kirsten Gillibrand in the upcoming primary right here in New York State. It's a pleasure to have you with us. It's nice of you guys to talk to me. Thank you very much. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your background and history. Well, I was born in St. Vincent's in the village, so, you know, right away that says a lot about me in 1957. And in 59, we moved to the Bronx. I went to St. Augustine, which is in the Marsania section of the Bronx. I went to Walton High School, all girls, old-fashioned, where you had butchers and films. And I was straight, but, you know, I had a nice body. Not much to look at, but, you know, that was good. So I was never afraid. Uh, went to a woman's college. Again, knew lots of folks there. Big clubber. So, went to a lot of clubs and stuff like that. First husband was a nice, good Iowa boy, but we moved to Iowa, and I was very much, you know, showing off the dress. And uh, they were into different kind of music, so I searched out gay clubs, because they saved me. So I went to gay clubs in Dubuque, Iowa, Geneseo, Illinois. My husband was so sweet. He would go with me. He wouldn't go to the men's room, but he would go with me. We went to this one club where they had jelly jars and stuff like that. So I've always knew where I was, but a lot of that is because of my mom. My mom's in Mississippi, you know, small town, but she came to New York because she got a scholarship to Columbia. And we lived in uh, the Bronx, and we had a woman on our block called Betty the Butch. And beautiful, dark skin. She had the most gorgeous girls you could ever imagine. My brother was good friends with his brother. And as you can imagine, his name was Lewis, the boy. He was a very good fighter. Because back in the 60s, if your mother was Betty the Butcher, you better be able to fight. <laughs> and she came, we lived in a three-family house. She would come to my stoop. And my mom was very nice to her because she was a southern lady and you treated everyone with respect. And that's what she taught me, to treat everyone with respect. So to me, it doesn't matter where you come from, what you do, it's who you are as a person. And I believe in equality for everyone. It's not, you know, this is something new for me, because my husband I'm married to now, we would not have been able to be married 40 years ago, because it was against the law. And it's a case called People Be Loving, and that was the case of a black woman going to marry a white man. And the same arguments that they had about her not marrying, she's not a human being, it's against God, what about the children, da, 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 da. the same arguments they make today. And you know what? As long as you're a human being, and you're not sleeping with little kids, I don't care. I have to control my own love life. I don't have time for anybody else's. I've always been that way. Whether I'm upstate, downstate, down south, across the street, that's the way it goes. That's 1,000 for the day. I'm okay. done. <laughs>